Hello, it's me, the king of late night TV, David Bronstein. Now, you may notice I look a little different. I cut my hair. I had a shave. I'm using a different camera. The other camera I had what was, was this camera here, this beautiful Microsoft Bill Gates camera. It, it's a piece of shit. That's what it is. Not Bill Gates, but the camera. So my business partner said, go out and get a new camera, for God's sakes. So I went to buy a new camera. He says, this camera I'm using now looks like I'm in England. Hey, Oliver, you'll get the gruel in a minute. Anyway, he says, it looks like it's foggy. Hey, Jack, stop ripping people up like that. He says, it's misty, it's foggy, he's waiting for foghorns, foghorn, leghorn. Anyway, I was using this camera for the past few days, and I did a great blog earlier today, and I watch it. it. It cuts off, it goes in the middle, it goes backwards. I don't know what the hell's going on. At least this one, you can see me. Maybe it's misty, like that song. Look at me, I'm as happy as a up a tree. You know that song, Play Misty For Me? Anyway, um, so I'm back to using this camera till I return this piece of shit from Best Buy, which is another blog about Best Buy, and then I'll, I'll get a, another high-end camera. But uh, you can see me okay, and no one's been complaining. The only person that complains is my business partner, David Jack. It, well, why does he complain? Because he's a Jew, that's why. Anyway, um, here's what I want to say. Uh, my wife told me a few days ago that uh, she was telling me that uh, some of her girlfriends, whatever, well, girlfriend, not some, one of the girlfriends, uh, uh, told her that she has sex on the washer and dryer. That's what she said. They have she has sex on the washer and dryer, and she 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 uh, pushes the button and it, and it shakes the dryer. And they have great sex, whatever the hell it is. I said that when she puts in the coin, does it work? Uh, not me. I'm joking. Anyway, so uh, so then I'm watching a television show a few nights ago, and I saw the television show. Uh, the couple is having sex on the dryer. So I said, isn't that funny? Andrew told me about her friends is having sex in the washer and dryer, and I watch television and somebody's having sex in the washer and dryer, and I said to Andrew today. Hey, Andrew, you know, I like to have sex on the washer and dryer. And Andrew said, ooh, well, you're just sound a little kinky now. Why do you want to have sex on the washer and dryer? Does that turn you on, to have sex in the washer and dryer? And I said, no. I figure, uh, not necessarily does it turn me on. I figure if we have sex in the washer and dryer, I'll be able to get my underwear and socks clean, for God's sakes, and get some towels. Uh, I figure if we, if we, it gives you a reason to go down and do the wash, so I can wear clean underwear, clean socks, have towels, so I figure I might as well get, you know, kill two birds with one stone while I'm there in the washer and dryer, and you can put a load in, and I can put a load in. Woo! I'm not talking about the washer and dryer. <laughs> anyway, uh, because, you know, I went to a sex therapist, and, uh, you like that? Woo! You went to a sex therapist, the sex therapist said, listen, you know, you gotta spice up your sex life. So, not just do it, you know, all staged and contrived when you go to bed at night. When, Whenever you have the feeling, whenever you have the urge, you should take advantage of it and, and get right in there. So, the other day, Andrew was bending down to get the, uh, a, uh, the, the, the um, laundry detergent. Andrew bent over to get the laundry detergent. And I had the urge, and I went right in there. <laughs> and you know what happened? They threw us out of the AMP. All right, so that's my blog for today. Having sex on the what? I went to the bakery today, and the lady told me this joke that Purim, is it, Purim's coming up, and in, in, in our Jewish culture, there's a holiday called Purim. Don't ask me what it is. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know. Anyway, and I know everyone gets dressed up like, like for a Halloween, different characters and stuff, and this Purim party, this lady got dressed up like a man. And somebody came over and said, oh, who are you supposed to be? And she said, I'm a man. And the friend said, oh, you're, you're a man. That's very nice. Well, where's your uh, schmeckle? And the lady said, they told me I'd be getting it here. Anyway, um, <laughs> so the last thing is, you understand that joke? Um, this, uh, this, this very wealthy lady calls her mother says, Mom, after 25 years, I'm leaving my husband. I can't stand him. I hate his guts. That's it. I'm through. And the mother says, what are you nuts? You live in a mansion. You have limousines and chauffeurs and butlers and maids. You, you're worth millions of dollars. Why would you leave your husband after 25 years? And she said, well, because when I first got married, my... Uh, my asshole was as big as a nickel. Now, after 25 years, this is about as big as a 50 cents. And her mother said, so, for 45 cents, you want to give all that up? Anyway, that's my blog for today. Check out Bronstein's World and DavidBronstein.com. And remember, have sex with the washer and dryer. Maybe I can get some, some clothes clean for two minutes out of my life. Come on! It's a nice camera, isn't it?